Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, and we are navigating the journey. This journey, ah, is into Waikiki. I know we don't usually visit Waikiki, but today I have a very special guest and my new best friend. And you know, I only talk to best friends, so he's my <laughs> new best friend. <laughs> and he is the general manager of the Ohana East Waikiki Outrigger Hotel. Now, Outriggers have been in Waikiki for, they were the one of the first hotels to be in Waikiki. So, Mr. Thomas, welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank it, you for, for finding me in the newspaper I did, and, and, I did. and calling me. I did. I want you to know I'm still holding on to this newspaper. Thank I, you. I saw your picture. It says, going places. And I saw his picture, and I said, oh, I want him on the show. So oh, we've been try, trying to yeah, make they, this yeah, happen. Thank you for having me, and, and thank you for working <laughs> with my schedule. I know I've been pretty busy the last couple of weeks. Well, as a general manager of a hotel, that has to be very busy. Very busy, yes. And it says here that you are head of operate all operational aspects of the property, including sales, host engagement, customer service, and financial performance. Yes, I am. Wow. Mr. Thomas was a resort manager at Outrigger Reef, Waikiki, and you were also at the Beach Waikiki Beach Resort. Well, so and the Grand Hyatt Kauai. Yeah, prior to Outrigger, yes. <laughs> uh, but I was at the, um, the Outrigger Reef Waikiki. I was the resort manager, which is technically the number two person in the hotel uh, that reports directly to the GM. And from there, I was very fortunate that uh, I was promoted to general manager at the Ohana East Waikiki. Uh, and I've been there for about six, six months now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from the date of this paper. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So now tell me, what kind of an education do you have that you go into this hotel management business? Well, where does that start? Where do you begin that? I went to school in Florida, uh, Bethune Cookman College. Uh, it's one of the um, historical black colleges in, on the mainland, in Daytona Beach. And I studied uh, hotel management. I actually did not know what I wanted to do when I was in school. But in my first two years, I tried nursing, I tried, I tried um, IT, communication, and I just never really found it to be exciting. And I love working with people. And someone suggested that I should try hotels, and I tried it. I did an internship in Indiana, and I loved it. And then I picked that, that major, and that's it, and then that was it. Sky, sky was the limit after that. A hotel in Indiana, where? It, it was um, a small town called French Lake Spring Resort. Oh, I know Resort, where French Lake. Where Larry, yeah. Larry Bird is from. Yes. And I was... And my, that's, that's one of the few tourists. Yes, yeah. My, 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 my professor at the time had a relationship with the general manager at that resort, and every year they bring in a ton of people to help because... In the winter time is very very slow, but in the summer that's their peak season. Right. So they bring in actually they bring they work they have a company that they work with, with in Jamaica. They brought a bunch of Jamaicans in for the summer, and I w I just so happened to be available. And my professor called me and said, "Would you like to go to Indiana?" And I said, "Yeah, sure." So I went there. <laughs> I was there for three three months, and I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of work. It was my first time ever working in a hotel, and the one thing that I love about it it was. It was, it was about people. And the every day it changes. Yeah, every day it changes. <laughs> the guests and then obviously the, uh, the associates. So, yeah, it was a great time. And, and that's when I decided that I was going to pursue a career in, in hotels. Even prior to that, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. <laughs> but once I got there and I, 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 I worked and I, wor I actually it was an internship, so I was able to talk to some of the executive leaders of that, of that property. And they told me how they grew in the, in, in the industry. 
And I say, do you think I can do the same? And they said, yes, if you are willing to do these things, um, there's, there's a, the, the, the sky is the, is the limit. So that's how I started in the hotel industry. That is great. Now, you mentioned Jamaica, but your accent is... So, so I was born in Haiti. Ah. I was born in Haiti. Um, I came here when I was uh, five years old. Oh, so that's... But there's still a little... Accent. A yeah, little, yeah, a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so then your name is Thomas and not Tomas. Thomas, yeah, that's my last name. Yeah, yeah. not Tomas. Not Tomas. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you begin this journey... Yeah, so, so I, I moved here when I was five. Um, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, uh, where my parents uh, lived. And from there, I uh, went to high school and then moved to Florida to go to um, college there at bethune Cookman College. And I, uh, you know, two years into it, I realized that I was going to be a hotel manager. And um, I worked all over the country in, in, in different um, positions in, in hotels. And, and five years ago, I, I was in Kauai. Uh, and two years ago, I joined Outburger, which is probably one of the best things I've ever I've ever done. It's a great company to work for. And a year a year and six months into my job, um, I was given the opportunity to run the Ohana East Waikiki by Outburger, which is a great great accomplishment because that's something that I've always wanted to do is to become a general manager. It wasn't immediately my my um, my goal. But as I grew in, in the industry, I realized, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm halfway there. I might as well just continue. And, and I think that the day it happened, it, all, it was almost like surreal because you work so hard throughout your entire career to get to one position and you get there, and you realize now you're responsible for everything. everything. <laughs> yes, that's a big job. So you yeah. wake up very quickly and you're like, okay, now I got to change my whole mindset because you're responsible for everybody. So it's, a, it's, it's been a great journey. So how many people do you have in, you have this one hotel, or as a general manager, are there more hotels in your? No, so I have one hotel, Ohana, one hotel. Ohana East Waikiki, and I have um, just around 80, 80 people that um, I manage. And how many tourists come regularly? Uh, on average, yeah. at, at my hotel? Yeah. Oh, that's a tough question. Um, let's see if I can remember. Well, how many people do you have today? But uh, right now we, are about, we have about a thousand people in the hotel. Okay. So you have four restaurants? Four restaurants. Coffee shop? Coffee shop. A bar? A bar. Two bars, actually. Two, two bars. Yeah. A spa? We have a small spa, yeah. Yeah. And we have a 24 hour fitness, fitness center. Fitness, yes. We have a pool. Pool. So they come there and don't, they don't have to leave the property. They don't have to leave the property, and the beach is only five minutes away. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, now, are there other activities within the hotel? Uh, we have a, we have a, a store that um, you can rent a, a bicycles. Uh -huh. um, it's a great place. It's, um, they just moved in a, a couple months ago. It's called Bikedelic. And we have a partnership with them so the, the guests can go down and, and rent bikes. We also have a trolley that the guests can take um, um, complimentary as, uh, as part of the hotel. They can go to different places as well. We have a small lounge in the lobby uh, with television. Um, it's, it can be used for any reason. Um, we have guests that sleep, take naps in there. <laughs> we have guests that wait, wait for the shuttle before they leave the hotel. They sit and wait. Uh, we have guests that just um, eat there. They go outside. They, you know, they go to Subway. They get food. They bring in and they eat in there. And it's also a gathering place for uh, families with kids because it's a nice lounge with TVs and couches that you can just sit in and hang out. Now, so tell me exactly where in Waikiki are you? So it's right off of, um, we're right next to the International Marketplace. So um, if you look at Kuhio, Kuhio and uh, Kaolani, yeah. right, right in the corner there, uh, right there. So I don't know if you heard there's, um, um, so if you go, if you turn on Kalakawa, um, Kailani Avenue is right there, right. and then you go right, you go right down that street, and you get to Kuiya. We're right there, we're uh, right, right, right in the corner. Yeah. Okay. I know. I, I know where that yeah. is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, many years ago, my husband and I had beauty salon, two beauty salons in there with Mr. Kelly. Oh wow! 
in the early days <laughs> of Outrigger, okay. when there weren't so many hotels. Okay. And uh, I don't know how you know about Mr. Kelly would build one floor and pay for it. He didn't have a mortgage. And then he'd build another one and pay for it. And, and that is how it all, because he didn't have a mortgage. And we had no lease, no contract. It was a handshake. And if Mr. Kelly said it, you take it to the bank. You know, that was it. <laughs> he, he was a great guy. And uh, when he put the pool in the Edgewater, everybody says, why do you need a pool? You're right next to the beach. Why would anybody want a pool? You know, it was, this was all in the growing days of Waikiki when people came for the season. Right. So, we, you know, you had the, the people in Canada that came in December, and then people in Australia came the other part of right. the time, you know, because their seasons are just the opposite. And they came, we got to know people from, you know, when the newlyweds until the end of the, because the hotel had kitchen hats, and I don't know if they still do. Yeah, we still have kitchen hats as well. Yeah. So we attract a lot of families that want to cook their own food. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so that was, like I said, I, I can't believe how long ago that's, that's been. And you think about the pool, right? So, you know, you, you, you think you, what you just said about the fact that, you know, people are looking at him and say, well, why are you building a, a pool? pool? Yes. The, the beach is right there. But you know what? And at, at, at the Ohana East Waikiki, um, the best attraction we have is the pool because um, a lot of time people don't want to walk to the beach. Uh, it, when they wake up in the morning, they just want to sit in the sun, relax, read a book, uh, jump in the water, and it's a great amenity to have for, for the guests, and they love it. Yep. Now, what about people from uh, different parts of the world? How do you deal with the languages, and who were your largest group of people? Well, for, our, uh, for the Ohana East Waikiki, majority of our guests they, they speak English, um, and we, you know, that's probably, um, I would say, I'm, I'm not sure of the exact percentage, but majority of our guests is from the mainland. Uh -huh. And we have a portion of our guests that comes um, a lot from Australia, and we have um, um, a percentage from, uh, from Japan. The, the, the Japanese guests that don't speak English, we actually have a, uh, we have uh, one person that speaks Japanese, and if that person is not available, we actually have a, uh, a call system that we can pick up the phone and call, and they can help us translate for, for what, what, what the guests need. Uh, so, but you do have someone on staff. Yeah, so most, um, all, almost all the outriggers in, in Waikiki have, uh, um, like the Outrigger Reef has actually a Japanese mm -hmm. DAS that um, is just dedicated to Japanese, and in some cases they have Japanese hosts that can speak Japanese, in our cases, we do have some that can speak the language, but we do have the, um, the hotline that we can call uh, to, to help them translate. So, so there's um, people come, but what about other Europeans? Do we get other do Europeans come to Hawaii? Uh, we, we, don't get, we don't get too many Europeans at, at, at my hotel. Um, very rarely, I, I do, to be honest with you, the only guests that don't speak uh, our language would probably the Japanese guests, and we get some Chinese and Koreans as well, very small percentage. But for the most part, a majority of our, our business is from, is from um, mainland America, yeah. We are gonna take a break, and we'll be back in one minute with my new best friend. <laughs> Aloha, my name is Wendy Lowe, and I want you to join me as we take our health back. On my show, all we do is talk about things in everyday life in Hawaii or abroad. I have guests on board that will just talk about different aspects of health in every, in every way, whether it's medical health, nutritional health, diabetic health, you name it, we'll talk about it. Even financial health, we'll even have some of the Miss Hawaii's on board and all the different topics that I feel will make your health and your lifestyle a lot better. So come join me. I welcome you to take your health back. Mahalo. Aloha, my name is Victoria and I'm a host at the Adventures in Small Business. This is a collaboration between U.S. Small Business Administration, Hawaii District Office, and its partners, where we showcase the stories of local entrepreneurs and small businesses 
talk about how to start a business, talk about great tips for small business owners. Uh, please join us every Thursday, 11 a.m. at Think Tech Hawaii. Um, see you soon. Mahalo. Aloha. I'm Marcia, and we're back. And we are navigating the journey through Waikiki. How's that? <laughs> okay. Uh, tell us about tourism now. This is uh, how you see tourism in Hawaii, because you're right on the front lines of tourism. Is it too much? Is it not enough? How do you see tourism? You know, I think there's, with everything that we do in this world, there's a balance, right? But I think that, um, you know, Hawaii is such a special place, and everyone wants to come here. And I think that, um, the, you know, tourism is the um, number one econ economic uh, drive into Hawaii um, next to the military. So it's really good for us to have uh, visitors come here. Uh, but I think it, as they come, we have a responsibility to make sure where we take care of uh, um, uh, the islands as well. Um, you know, one of the things that, w w the reason why I joined Outrigger because, you know, there's something that we believe in is the Outrigger way, right? And it's, um, you know, we care for the, ho for the guests, which is coming in. We care for the host who lives here, our hosts are our associates. We care for the place, which is our environment, the buildings, the things that we can do to help the community. So I think that, as we look at the visitors that come into Hawaii, we, we look at it in that way. It's our responsibility at Outrigger to make sure we are, we are taking care of those people that are impacting our business. Um, you know what, you know, you, you, if, you, if you have a lot of visitors, it's, it, it could be good. If you don't have enough, it could be bad. All depends on how you look at business, right? But I think it's important that as the people, as our guests come here to stay in all the different hotels in Waikiki, the number one thing is we need to make sure that they're safe. Uh, we, we need to make sure that everything that we do caters to, to, to them, and we need to um, educate them about the, the, the culture of Hawaii as well, because I think a lot of people come to Hawaii to, to actually not only enjoy the beauty, but to, to educate themselves on, the, have, on the culture of Hawaii. Do you have special classes that? Um, I don't have uh, specifically at my hotel, but uh, we have two beachfront hotels, Outrigger Waikiki, Outrigger Reef, and both of those hotels have a cultural director that does um, classes every day as part, of, as part of the hotel program. And so that's about the local culture? Yeah, so we have um, ukulele um, lessons, which is everyone loves that class. Uh, we have lay making. Mm -hmm. um, we have, um, you know, um, stories. Sometimes we sit down with kids and tell stories. I've done, it, I've done it myself in the past. Um, and we have just classes about uh, just educating um, uh, our guests. We actually, at the Outrigger Reef, we have a hale. It's called a house. And it has a lot of uh, history and culture as far as um, certain things about the hotel and also history of Hawaii itself. So the guests can come in and, and have a conversation with our cultural person. And, and if they want to put uh, a one-on-one -on -one time with them, they can schedule that as well. So, oh, so they don't, really don't have to leave to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now, about the environment, you mentioned that the hotels, the reef, reef tower, the, uh, the industry, or the reef, outrigger reefs. Yeah, yeah. Or the outriggers, I'll get it right. Uh, now, how do, what do you mean about your taking care of the environment? Well, you know, taking care of the environment, meaning being good stewards to, 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 to where we live. Um, you know, one of the things that we do is we, we are, we are, we're, we're an advocate of making sure we're protecting the reefs. Uh, so we have a program um, it's called uh, Outrigger Ozone um, that, you know, it focuses on uh, educating folks on, you know, the purpose of making sure we protect the, the reefs. And, and the company itself has a, have a lot of programs where we volunteer. A couple months ago, we all volunteered to go and clean up the beach. So we want to make sure that not only that we work in Waikiki, but we want to make sure that uh, part of our, our effort in Waikiki is to um, make sure that we, we're a good steward by, by doing some of these things that's going to help the environment. And, and, and the other thing, too, if you look at some of our hotel 
Uh, we have um, recycling available. We, we offer recycling to guests. We also, um, you know, some of our hotel are moving towards um, adding um, filtration unit water in the, in the public area so that way people can use their bottles instead of using plastic right. bottles. So there's a lot of things that we're doing to make sure that we're, we're uh, helping with the, with, with the environment. Now, where, I know Outrigger is huge, but where else, other than Hawaii, where else are the hotels located? We have, uh, we have, we have, we obviously, most of our hotels are here in, in Waikiki, but we also have hotels in Fiji. We have hotels in Maldives. Um, we have a um, hotel, we have a couple of hotels. Uh, we actually have two hotels in Fiji. Uh, and then we have one in Maldives. Uh, we have one in Castaway. Where's uh, that? That's all in the Asia uh, Castaway. Yeah, yeah, it's called uh, Outrigger Castaway Resort. Um, so the, the, um, uh, most of those hotels, um, you know, obviously uh, resort-like yeah. hotels. Those those are destination hotels, and uh, it's a far, you know, it's a far trip to fly it is. there. <laughs> Oh, from here to from here, it's not that too bad. But if you're flying from the mainland, it's a long way away. That's a long way. But some of our hotels are just spectacular, and it's 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 almost like a um, an oasis when you get there because it's just a small island with with, with you and, and and nature, and it's 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 great. That is fabulous. Did, did you want to work at any of those? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if my wife is willing to move, yes. <laughs> Oh, that that makes a difference. Yeah, that, that yeah makes I don't mind moving. Moving is 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 in my DNA. Yeah, no, yeah. that that <laughs> yeah, but I guess to be that isolated, a little time would be fine, but for a long stay would be a little. Well, different. I lived in Kauai, and Kauai is very isolated, that, but but it's just a, it's such a beautiful island. Sometimes you don't think about being isolated; you just think about look what I have. And, and you wake up every morning yeah, and this and, is paradise. Yeah, paradise. <laughs> and I have so much to do, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because a lot of times you live in a place and you think it's beautiful, but you never take advantage of the beauty and some of the activities. You only do it when people visit. Yes. <laughs> yes. And thank, thank you, God. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. And so how long were you in, in Kauai? I was in Kauai for four years. And while I was in Kauai, I met my wife. Oh, who was living here at the time? That's why I moved over, and um, I have a um, now a son who's just turned one two weeks ago. Oh, great! Yeah. yeah. So you met your wife here. Yeah. Oh. So the journey that I took put, put me in the path of my oh, wife. <laughs> how magic! Yes. Yeah. How magic is yes. that? Yes. So I have everything to think to Hawaii. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you come to paradise and fall in love, yeah, right? Yeah. It's a dream, right? Yeah, that is a dream. That's, that's and, a, and become GM. Yeah. Oh. And that's the story. Those, those are the things, the stories. Of, when you see that on television, you say, that, 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 that's yeah, not yeah. real. Yeah. The one thing about hospitality, you can start at the front desk, you can work your way up to where I am today. Actually, our CEO um, started at the front desk, and now he's the CEO of, of Outrigger. So the I think the opportunities in the hospitality industry are pretty, um, um, the, the sky is the limit. So if you were looking to um, be part of something great, Outrigger is a great company. There's a ton of uh, industries out there. But, you know, I think the hospitality industry is just a great place if you want to have an opportunity to either stay in, uh, if you love Hawaii, you can stay in Hawaii. But if you want to travel the world or you want to live in the mainland, uh, most hotel companies have hotels all over the place. So you can transfer and you can grow your career. It's a, it's a really good, good um, professional um, path for people that are looking for a career. Okay. All right. Well, now, speaking of which, if we have young people that are interested in a hotel, but like you don't know where to begin or any of this, can they come see you? Yeah. So, and then they can also go on outrigger.com. Uh, we have a career uh, tab. They can click on the career tab. And we have information about jobs that are available on, on our website uh, for not only the hotels that are in Hawaii, but um, all of our positions are posted for the other hotels in, in Fiji and Maldives as well. Uh, and if they want to um, contact someone, they can actually just look online, look at the hotel, and call. <laughs> and, and so what I meant, not just say, here's a job, but to talk to you like we're talking, about a career path and what 
what to expect and all of those kinds of wonderful, just like, like we're talking. Absolutely. If somebody wanted to do that. Absolutely. And you know, the best way for them to reach out um, is they can, they can just Google my hotel, Ohana Waikiki East Bar Burger. And if they call, they say, I want to speak to Chris, the general manager, they, they connect them right to me. Yeah. I, uh, I, I don't really screen any calls. I like to talk to anybody. Um, and I do get students sometimes that call, um, you know, they want help with a project. And I love doing that. So, yes, they can do that easily. Well, now, there, all the schools here have, uh, all the community colleges have tourism and what have you as part of the curriculum. Do you partner with any of those? Yeah, so we, we actually, Art Rigger partner with um, high schools, actually. And oh. we, we, we bring some of the, we, we partner with high school and colleges, but um, we bring the kids over to, the, to, to, the, to, the, to our hotel. So typically, um, we'll, we interview the, the students as if they're applying for a position. Mm -hmm. And then based on the interview, we, we, we pick out of the pack and we, we, we get the names of the students, and the hotels pick who they want to enter at the hotel, and then part of their internship, they have to go through the entire hotel and learn um, the, each department. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, As a, an intern. Yeah. High school, you said. High school, yeah. High school and college. Yes. And are there any restrictions on what, who can and cannot? No, no restrictions. Uh, okay. They just have to be... You know, the program is with certain school, and they just have to uh, apply to the program. Wow, that is fabulous. Yeah. Yes. So we're growing our own, is that it? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, we want, we want more uh, kids to think about joining the tourism industry, because I think it's a great, great path. Um, if you love to work with people, and you love to travel, you love, you love um, um, just, just being in different surroundings, uh, tourism is a great professional career. Well, it has been a real pleasure, Chris, being with you, and you will come back. Yes, yes, please invite me back. You anytime, will. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for, for inviting me over. I really appreciate it. I love it's, your show as well. Oh, thank you. So it's thank you. it's a, such a pleasure being with you, and thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Aloha.